Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. I've got a few requests from some of my subscribers about using Adobe Audition, and I've just recently upgraded to 3.0 and wanted to go through a couple of the basic um, kind of most uh, questions that I've had uh, so far from some subscribers. So uh, any of the tutorials that are out there right now are, are, are done by an uh, Asian uh, gentleman. Um, so hard to understand if you don't speak the language. So my attempt is to put up uh, multiple Adobe Audition 3.0 uh, tutorials out there and this is the first one. So if you have any comments feel free to use uh, the comment selection below. But what I'm going to do right now is just go through, I took a, an Adobe Audition 3.0 test track uh, just to show you what that is right now. I'll play it. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. So you hear a little bit of that, and we're going to go ahead and clean this up, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in this process. So once you have your track set and you're ready to edit it, uh, best thing to do is go to your Edit key right here. Make sure that this whole area up here is all lit up green. If you see any that's not, that means that you have audio uh, further off to the right, and whatever effects that you apply to this will only apply to what you see here and not the entire track. So you can either, um, if you hit the plus button, see, this area is telling you that there's more audio track than what you see outside this area. So if you hit the minus key and keep hitting it until you get that whole green area sectioned, you can see from here to here is your entire audio track. So what we're going to do is take right here in the beginning, you see this little uh, waveform right here, we're going to take here all the way back to the beginning. And that's why you always want to record five to six seconds of just dead air. It's going to pick up any of the uh, ambiance around you, um, and any of the fans or TVs or anything else that's going on. You can help kind of remove a majority of that by doing this process. So now that we've highlighted the first part here, we're going to go up to Effects, to Restoration, and Capture Noise Reduction Profile, or you can hit Alt-N. Wait the few seconds that it takes to go through that. It captures it. Then what you want to do is just double click and highlight your entire area. Go back up to Effects, Restoration, and then go to Noise Reduction. What that's going to show you is this box will come up and it'll show you this yellow area right here is the noise uh, prior to you speaking or anything. So anything the microphone's picking up, and depending on how sensitive your microphone is, um, this will show you the uh, noise. Now if you see a lot of yellow going on up in this area here, you really have a noisy room and should look at maybe soundproofing. soundproofing are doing something uh, other than just adjusting it in Adobe Audition. Um, but right here, that's not too bad. I mean, we've uh, for this test, we made some noise, so we could do this. So here's the yellow line here. So what you do is, and you can slide this high to low. If you feel like when you do it up all the way at 100%, you're getting too much distortion, uh, then you can reduce that too. But I usually leave the first part out because I want to remove any of that external noise. Click OK, and it'll take about three or four seconds, depending on how long your piece is. And you'll see it right there. Boom right in this area here, it's totally gone. And throughout your wave format, the entire time, um, that whole area has been cleaned up. Now what I also like to do here is double click this again, go back to Effects, Restoration, Hiss Reduction. Any hiss from the microphone uh, that you'll get, you can usually reduce most of it in here by just applying a light standard reduction. If you go into standard or high hiss, um, it really, really distorts uh, the audio, and especially if you're doing a spoken word um, it can really give you kind of that robotic sound. Um, so I hit light hiss reduction, click OK, and if you watch the wave format, you'll see just a slight change in that and reduces some of the hissing in there. So with that, uh, I always take the first part here, highlight it, right click, and then hit mute. So any little thing that you don't see in here, uh, any static or anything, you can totally remove that piece there. Uh, and then you can do the same thing at your close at the end you can mute that as well so you have a nice clean finish. So once that's done go back into multi-track view and you can start um, applying effects. Now what I do is I kind of just bring my screen down here switch over to effects and then right here is when you can kind of pick out things that you'd like um, or you can use it through the effects tab right here. Uh, I like working right in here, it's nice and simple. Um, I bring myself home by hitting the home key, brings me right to the beginning. Click here. Uh, you go into amplitude and compression, and I apologize, it's a telephone on the background. Alright, we got that done. 
<coughs> the amplitude and compression, go to amplify. And from amplify, you can adjust this to whatever you want, or you go into the presets and you can boost the volume just by doing that. Uh, and then you can also preview it by hitting the space bar. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. I'm just going to go ahead and do a test on your track. Just like that. Uh, and again, you can boost this up even more if you'd like, but be careful. You don't want to get too distorted. Um, and that's your first effect. You have this whole row here of uh, things that you can add to it. So uh, after I do that, I usually go to the multi-band compressor. Uh, and there's different things in here. If you really want that loud uh, kind of uh, internet delivery, there's a button for internet delivery. Um, if you want that walkie-talkie effect that you hear on some radio voice imaging, uh, you can use that as well. And that'll be a whole different tutorial. But we click on internet delivery and we'll hear the piece. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. You can see the difference right there. Uh, another one that I use uh, quite frequently is in the filter and EQ. It's the parametric equalizer. And this you can really add the, they have some um, presets in here, some of the old time radio and things like that. But if you just want to modulate here, you can change the bass and treble by using this graph right here. And I'll kind of adjust it as it plays. So just listen. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. I'm just going to go ahead and do a test audio track. So we can clean it up. I have a few things going on right now. The TV on in the back room. Uh, I have my external hard drive. That you can see what it does. I have some external uh, humming there. But this is all in an effort to show you um, basic noise cancellation, noise reduction. And basically what that does, it gives you that kind of radio bass um, effect that some folks like. So you can do that by using the parametric equalizer. So that's that. Um, now, once we go back to here, all those changes will be made to this track. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. And I just wanted to go ahead and do a test audio track. So we can clean it up. I have a few things going on right now. I have a TV on in the back room. Uh, I have my external hard drive that just kicked on, so we might have some external uh, humming there. But this is all in an effort to show you um, basic. So what you've noticed is from right here to here, there's some static uh, in there. What we're going to do is go ahead and highlight that, go to your Effects tab, and we need to clean that up somehow. So if you go to Effects, you can go in here in Restoration, go to Click Pop Eliminator. And that's going to show you kind of uh, some of the clicking and popping you might be getting in there. So let's hit OK. Still has some of that in there. So we're going to go to Effects into restoration, automatic phase correction. And this will be to repair. Uh, if there's panning issues or manual correction, we're going to hit repair and hit OK. And see if that's helped us out any. So let's go back to multi-track and start it from the beginning. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. And I just wanted to go ahead and do a test audio track. So we can clean it up. I have a few things going on right now. I have a TV on in the back room. Uh, I have my external hard drive that just kicked on, so we might have some external uh, humming there. But this is all in an effort to show you um, basic noise cancellation, noise reduction in Adobe Audition 3.0. So you saw at the end, very, very clear. We added so much hiss and stuff from some external things here. We had a fan going on, the TV going on, uh, and when the fan would pan through the microphone, that's where you heard some of the hissing and popping in this area here. One thing I will change real quick is go into the uh, parametric equalizer here real quick. And we're going to take this bass down because it really adds some pop in there. So we'll look at the difference here real Hi, quick. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. And just wanted to go ahead and do a. There we go. And that's good enough. Um, now, again, we didn't eliminate everything in here uh, because we went so extreme to kind of show you reduction in here that sometimes there's just too much noise and you really have to control your environment when you're recording. But that gives you an idea.